Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one with financing. Look at this, $199 a month owner financing. This is uh, 7.6 acres in Navajo County, Arizona. And uh, let's jump in, let's take a look at this property, see if this is the right one for you. Um, I've got it set up so you can go tour it, take a look at it, and um, yeah, you could camp on it if you want. Check it out, go see if the neighbors are crazy or if the weather's crazy or I don't know, maybe there's crazy coyote pack in the area. I hear all kinds of stories why people don't like the land, <laughs> but most of the people grab it, love it, take off and never hear from them again. So that's who I'm looking for on this property. Uh, 7.6 acres, Navajo County. It's uh, southern parts of Navajo County. Here's some views of the, the area. I think these are area shots, not the actual property. Um, different properties in it no these are actual these these ones are from the actual property sorry we got pr photos from the actual property i think somebody toured one of the neighboring properties and sent these photos in um so this was the neighbors over to one side they got a windmill set up and um you know homestead going on and uh it's, it's open country just look at that sky it's like blue blue there's not a wisp of cloud anywhere in the sky and um people some people run cattle in the area it turns really green in late July, early August. The rains hit here and uh, the road gets washed out, but you know, everything goes green. The butterflies and the smells of the flowers about knock you over and uh, just lights up and goes nuts. And then it slowly dries up over time from there and it turns into this, this grayer brown. Um, here's a post, T post out in the country, some rocks and bushes and things around the area. Okay, so oh, there's a neighbor's tractor. So there's a box blade. I don't know if you can, if that picture's big enough, but uh, let's see if I can blow it up. Ah, it runs away on me. There's a tractor in there in that picture with a box blade, and that's what you use to fix the roads. Okay, so let's look at the maps of the area. This area is, uh, so it's a square property. Um, there's a street to the north, so you can drive up to it. There's some washy bumps along the street. I think we had a picture of that. We had a picture of these neighbors, the neighbors that have the windmill going on. And uh, they probably have some different different animals. I think that's the windmill right there. Bunch of different cars, maybe a couple homesteads, maybe an octagon homestead. Just got different versions of, of life going on over here. Maybe extended family living together or something, I don't know. Um, there's a fence, there's a gate, here's, uh, looking for some power lines. I'm not sure there are any power lines in the area. I think you're going to be doing it on your own. It looks like these people have horses with a round pen. There's a bunch of bush around the area, a bunch of junipers. If you like horses, I mean, you could ride a lot of these roads, go explore the area. As we keep zooming out, I'm going to figure out where we're at. Okay, so this, this is, uh, Taylor's over here, and, um, Snowflake's up here. Let's turn it over to the map. So Snowflake is here. Here's Snowflake. Here's Taylor. Taylor's got a new Walmart that went in a year or so ago. South of there, we've got Home Depot, Walm or uh, Home Depot, and other big box stores to get supplies to go build your house. Uh, the schools are over here. Snowflake, Taylor. If you got kids going to the local schools, or you want to go to the local diner or the local, it looks like there's a barber shop showing up. I just saw this this morning. There's a new barber shop showing up on the screen. Um, yeah, so people are having to go at it out here because it's cheap, because it's a nice elevation. It's in the 6,000s um, elevation. You're not down in the, you know, Phoenix bacon hot sun um, kind of elevation. You're not way up in the mountains uh, freezing your bum off in the winter. Um, it's in between. So it's much more temperate climate and uh, easier to, to live in. Um, the mountains that are here to the back they provide water, so there's they they catch a lot more water, and it runs down underground and gets to this area a lot more. So if you look at properties to the north, you get into crazier, deep, deeper water wells, and it's a lot more expensive to pull off developing those properties. These properties to the south in Navajo County are a lot cheaper to develop because lots of times your water well is 100 foot or 120 foot or 150 foot or 80 foot or some number in between there, right? instead of 300 and 600 and 900 foot like you might have 
north more in the county that costs a lot more. You're not using PVC, you're starting to use starting to use steel pipe and stringing it together and making it happen. It just it's a lot more drilling, it's a lot more money, it's more pumps, more energy, it's more it's just harder to pull it off, right? So we're down here and it's easier to get water and develop these properties and that's why there's more development happening down here than in the north. And if you zoom around you'll see different homesteads spread around the area hiding in these bushes. So here's this one, $199 a month for uh, 16 months. You can click the buy it now and go for it. Let's make sure it's working. Um, this is These numbers don't line up. I'll fix this so the numbers line up. But the way it is now, it's, uh, yeah, the checkout is going weird. I'll fix that. Um, so it's $199 a month for 16 months, not the numbers that you saw in there. Um, GPS coordinates, uh, if you click on that in your phone, you get driving directions to the property. If you click on it in the computer, like we'll do here, I'll click on this thing, it'll open up a map, Google Maps, and then you can play with it. You can zoom in, you can do 3D, you can fly around and everything else, uh, like people have come accustomed to with Google Maps, right? So let's zoom in on it, let's go 3D, let's see if we got any crazy topography, which we don't, I mean, it's pretty darn flat. Just a little bit of topography, but not much. I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty darn flat. No crazy hills, cliffs, or anything sticking out of it to, to mention. Um, Blue Jay Lane would be the name of the street just to the north there. So you guys can play with that. Um, I put, I just added to the legal description in here a disclaimer. And so this disclaimer, you can read the disclaimer. This disclaimer is written by the county. And the county mandates that you have the disclaimer on a transfer of land that doesn't comply with the new codes, new regulation that was enacted in Navajo County. And so with the new regulation, you've got to get approval from the assessor before you can go to the, uh, the uh, building department to get a building permit. And what the assessor is looking for is if the lot was just split, which this one is, because I sold some different pieces of this property, so I can't like put it back together and not sell it. Um, so that's why I'm doing it this way. The, uh, the different pieces of this property are um, not in compliance with the new laws. And you have to show the assessor that the access is in compliance with the new laws. And so they want to look at access. And so if we look at access, they want legal and physical access to the property. So legal access is a road, you know, northern boundary of the property. It's got a name, Blue Jay Lane and everything. Blue Jay Lane. I mean, there's your legal access to the property. Um, uh, physical access, they just go over to set, you, you can drive on it. So their definition of physical access, from my understanding, is you have to be able to drive a car in there. Other counties, they want to be able to drive a fire truck or ambulance and that kind of stuff, which would make more sense to me, but whatever. It's Navajo County. They make it a lot easier. You just got to be able to drive a four-wheel car in there, you know, like your family sedan or something. Um, so you got to go show them that you got physical, legal access, and, um, yeah, they should check off on that. And then you go sign up for your building permits. They check off check off on that of course it, everyone wants fees along the way right so when and if you go build on the property you can do that to bring it into compliance and that's what this disclaimer is about you can read the disclaimer you can go read the laws and everything but that's my understanding of it um, GPS coordinates we we're talking about that elevation okay 5,692 I said it's in the 6,000 it's actually in the 5,000 so it's in the mid 5,000s it's a little bit lower elevation than some of the other properties have in the area. They're in the 6,000s. Um, taxes are about $25 a year. And, uh, yeah, so there's there's the property. Um, I'll get the, uh, the checkout fixed. And we've got some different pictures on this one. This is in the area. It's a lake that's not too far from there. Pictures of the area and stuff. So this might be the road, right? So here's the picture guy driving in there. This is part of the road. It got washed out in the muddy season. So you might want to take a, you know, a, a tractor through there and flatten that out. You know, knock out the bumps. And it'll probably get all mucked up again next rainy season. 
and you have to take tractor and blade it out again. That's part of living in the countryside. You just fix the road yourself because the county's not going to show up and fix it for you. Um, if they do, it's going to take forever. I mean, you're just you're just going to have to fix it yourself. That's part of part of buying a property like this. I mean, it looks like you still drive through there, but I mean, just even like a a fork you fill in, or not a fork, a uh, you know gardening shovel you could fill in some of the low spots. Still drive, have to drive slow through there, but I mean, you could just work on the nastiest ones over time until you're working on the ones that that don't matter as much. You go faster and faster over time as you keep working on the road. Okay, so there's there's the property that is. 7.6 acres in Navajo County, Arizona. $199 a month for 16 months. I'll get the checkout fixed. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith with RuralVacantLand.com bringing you another easy, cheap property. Hope you like this one. If you want to see more of these, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep serving up uh, more presentations of properties like this. Thank you. Bye.